over 100 new images from the original camera that took the original backrooms image have been released. 110 to be exact. And on top of that, the famous wallpaper in level zero has almost been located and its supplier and creator has almost been contacted. And finally, the owner of the Backrooms building, the one that released all these images back to us, needs the Backrooms community's help. You know, we're really not asking for anything. If by chance we, we get this funded and we go ahead with everything, I have managed to locate and, and secure the original Sony Cybershot camera that took all the original pictures. And of course, we have some bits of wallpaper and carpet and stuff like that. We'll maybe make some certificates and do some sort of a free raffle to pass on to some of the fans. All right, so let's dive into this update. This is a very important video. Share it with as many people as you can. I want to get this video as many views as possible. That way the message can get out to thousands of people and maybe together we can save the back rooms. It all started with this image, the famous image that you've all seen a billion times. You're sick of seeing it, I assume, but it all began with this. The millions of YouTube videos, the millions of fans, thousands of hours of content, found footages, lore, creepypastas, and even a movie all started with this image. The backrooms image that was captured on a Sony Cybershot camera. It all started there. And as you heard from the intro, that camera was found by the owner of the Backrooms building. The owner's name is Bob Matza, and he has been kind and generous enough to release the other images that were on the camera and the SD card, along right with that Backrooms image. He has released over a hundred images that we are going to take a look at in a second, and these images give us a good idea of the layout, the design, and everything else about the building that called the Backrooms home. Or the back rooms that the building called whatever but before we get into those other 100 images and whatnot i want to talk about something a little bit more serious and something that you can actually help with hashtag save the back rooms so most of you are probably uh, asking yourself brugly are you okay have you taken your medicine for the day no but let me explain what this video's main topic is about and let me explain the save the back rooms craze. To put it simply, to put it plainly, the TLDR version is that the building the backrooms picture was taken inside of is currently falling apart. The roof on the building is in a state of collapse and it's unlikely to survive more harsh Wisconsin winters before it just collapses in on itself and ruins the entire building. Now, how did we get this information? How do we know the building's collapsing? How do we know the roof's caving in? Pharrell McGuire, who is another YouTuber on this platform, was able to snag an interview with the owner of the building, the same guy that owned the building, when the backrooms image was taken. His name, of course, is Bob Matza, and in this interview, which I will show you clips of in a second, Bob explains that the building itself is in dire need of repairs. The building is one of the things that makes the place what it is. There is a possibility that I could hang on to the building a bit longer or quite a bit longer if we can get it fixed up and then if I can find somebody to take over the business, it won't be as much of a burden on them owning the building and the business. Since been in contact with a few other uh, people that have gladly stepped in and helped me start to get this set up, the building needs a new roof. I put a new roof on it 20 years ago. The commercial building roofs typically last 20 years and being a hundred year old building, my fear is, is that if we don't do this, a good snowstorm or something in Wisconsin that's just going to happen and it's going to cave in the roof and at that point it would be too expensive to bail out of it and, and fix it and it'll become a parking lot. All of the people that have joined on hand and are online contact me about this. Their ideas are great. You know, we're, we're talking about bringing in some fake walls that have some of that groovy wallpaper on it and we have a source for some of the carpet that's still in the building that we can do a temporary display that people can use for photo opportunities. So the idea is all of this would kind of come together and help the, the store at the same time survive and keep our, our play area alive. As I mentioned before, the structure itself is way over 100 years old and it's gone over countless renovations, leaks and everything like that. The property has been owned and operated by Bob Matza for well over 30 years at this point. And inside the investigation that everybody did to try to find the image location, it was uncovered that the building was in a decayed state. But I wanna stress that Bob has been so helpful and so generous 
in this quest for the image and the location and the extra pictures and the history of the building. If it wasn't for Bob and his willingness to come forward and tell us all this information, we wouldn't even have, I would say, like 80% of the stuff that we know. And it's all thanks to Bob. He's done more and everything that's been asked of him and requested of him. He's sat down for interviews. He's written uh, articles for local news organizations. He's written interviews and papers and he's written all the stuff that we've asked and he's provided so much information. And um, to Bob, obviously, thank you so much. And I think there is a way that the Backrooms community as a whole can help pay Bob back in a way. During the start of the investigation and even during the climax of it, no one really knew the state of disrepair that the building itself was in. In fact, Bob never really even mentioned it until he mentioned it as more of a matter of fact thing. This is in fact the doorway to the fabled back rooms. 20 years later, it's now a hobby racetrack and looks nothing like that photo of internet lore. And now it's also in much need of repairs. The building was in bad shape. I put a roof on it 20 years ago. Time is catching up to the building, at least 110 years old. It needs a new roof and has several leaks, and the biggest hole in the roof made Robert realize it won't make it through the winter. This is where the damage, where the bricks came through the ceiling last year. Now right off the bat, I want to stress that literally in no way has Bob come out as trying to take advantage of the situation, trying to monetize off the situation. And I think I'd have to agree that we should try to help Bob and his company in the most possible way that we can. I mean, the backrooms that started in his own building, the images that he took, it has given us hours and hours of entertainment. It has changed my life. It has probably changed your life. And I think that the least that we could do is try to help out like this whether it's you know donating a dollar or sharing this video. You're not required to donate or anything, but sharing the video and getting this video out there will be a great help in trying to um, fix the building. Bob stresses over and over on the GoFundMe page and the interviews that he's not asking for anything at all. He's not asking or begging for people to donate. He's just saying to get it out there to the right people, and he hopes that we'll be able to help him out in that regard. Again, don't feel pressure to donate to the GoFundMe to uh, repair the backrooms building. Uh, you don't have have to obviously but by watching this video you're supporting that effort because i myself will be donating to the gofundme think about it if a hundred thousand people donate one dollar then we pretty much already met the goal think about that but as i said this guy that took this image has single-handedly changed my life i mean you've seen the plaques every everything the plushie my entire career was changed by this man in the pictures that was taken under his his building and I, I just really do want to help out in the best way I can. Um, and whether that's getting this video out there, donating myself and helping other people um, find the, the donation as well, I'm going to try my best to do it. I mean, you can see by these images that the building itself is collapsing. It's caving in on itself. And it's, it's very unfortunate. Obviously, it's a very old building. These things happen. But what doesn't usually happen is these buildings don't have a huge fan base surrounding them that might be able to help out and fix it up. In the interview, Bob mentions that if these repairs are completed and if he's able to keep the building from literally like falling in on itself, that he's 100% gonna do some incentive things like designing rooms of the building with the backrooms theme. He says he has a contact for maybe even the wallpaper, maybe the flooring, and he's gonna set it up and design it for photo ops, for tours, maybe even an escape room. We could convince him to do that, that'd be awesome. And it'd be so cool to have you know, at the original Backrooms image location, these Backrooms themed events, maybe even like a get together, um, raffles, he mentions, raffling off uh, pieces of the, the old wallpaper and the old uh, carpet. It would be such a cool idea. And I think it's very generous of him to be able to do that. But again, just finally, short and sweet, the GoFundMe link will be in the description. If you do want to donate to help rebuild and fix up the Backrooms building, if you, you know, feel drawn to, you can do so. Of course, you do not have to. I don't want anybody twisting my words. You don't have to donate, okay? Just watching this video, sharing it with people, that, that helps out amazingly as well, just getting the information out. Also, go check out Kaufman and Pharrell McGuire's videos on the same situation, and just get all these videos out to as many people as possible. Obviously, the backrooms has changed my life. It's literally what I do, and I, I cannot thank Bob enough and the pictures that he took and the pictures that were taken under his roof enough for everything. So hopefully, this video can act as some sort of um, thank you for all of that. And again, thank you all for watching the video and thank you all for your support. So send out this video to as many people as you can and send the, the hashtag save the backrooms as well. Let's get something going. Let's see if we can get this out to as many people and see if we can get this building uh, fixed up and pay back all the hours of entertainment that we've gotten for free. But again, you don't have to.
I don't want anybody saying I made you do it. Also, if the goal is reached, I will reveal my head. You know what to do. So now that we have all of these new images of the backrooms building as it was back in 2002, let's go over the rest of the entire building, all the rooms, and how they relate to the famous backrooms level zero picture. Again, all of these images were released by Bob directly from the camera that had the original image on it. So these are literally exactly how the rest of the building looked when they moved into it to renovate it and to change it into the racetrack that it is today. So let's go on a tour of the backrooms building. Walking into the front door, this is the lobby area that you're greeted with. As you can see, it's very empty, very liminal, and I'm sure it smells like old floor wax and old carpet. Right off the bat, you can see these two staircases instantly, one on the left and one on the right. The one on the left leads to the back rooms, and the one on the right leads to this strange lofted area. Let's go up there first. So up here in this strange lofted area lies the exact same carpet that we'll see later on in the back rooms. The only difference here is there are no walls, it's just kind of like a half wall. And also there's this diagonal drop ceiling, I've never seen that before in my life, but cool. Going back downstairs, you'll see these other angles of the lobby, along with this weird like bluish greenish teal color that everything's painted. The desk and behind the desk is also very strange, very liminal, very uncanny looking, and I find it pretty cool that even though this is the backrooms building, the rest of the angles still look so uncanny and liminal together. Anyways, now let's go up the backroom stairs to head to the second floor where it's located. Immediately, we're met with this view. A picture of a large corridor with strange carpets, strange walls, and different colorations all around. Moving on from this, we'll find that second original picture that went viral a few months ago that was released from the Wayback Machine. This angle actually shows the end or the back wall of the backroom's image in general. So the reason we know the layout and the reason we know where these rooms are in relation is because we were actually able to retrieve the blueprints of the entire building. And with help from Bob, the blueprints, and these pictures, and Kaufman being insanely good at what he does, the entire layout has been able to be recreated, and Kaufman has gone and animated an entire walkthrough of the backrooms building. So that's the footage you're seeing right now. So thank you to Kaufman for that. Go subscribe to him. This is literally insane. It's really even hard to tell the difference between his rendering and the picture. It's crazy. But I'll be using this video walkthrough to make it easier for you to understand where we're going. Anyways, the next angle that we'll see is the original image. This is the famous one looking through the corridor. This is facing the back wall of that secondary image, and it's adjacent to that room with the strange carpet coloration. This is where the racetrack area is in the modern day post remodel. These other yellowish tinted pictures are other angles from inside the back room room. As you can see, the walls have a yellowish tint, even though more likely they're kind of brownish and light brown in real life. And it's probably just kind of dark, so the white balance is thrown off, giving it a yellow hue. It's pretty cool that we found these other angles that just give it a real sense of scale. It's very uncanny to look at, I gotta say. It feels like you're not supposed to be seeing it. Yeah, that was the lobby, the upstairs, and that loft area. And there are also images of the basement and warehouse area of this building. The basement itself is full of storage and electrical boxes and boiler rooms and that sort of thing. And this is where the power for the back rooms comes from. So those are the main other pictures that we have now of the back rooms, as well as the renderings from Kaufman and the entire layout of the actual back rooms building way back from 2002 that's all it was it's all i imagined and, and more i gotta say that was super cool to see and now you can say that you've walked through the entirety of the backrooms building there are plenty other pictures of the remodeling process and before you know middle and after of that all the pictures are listed there if you want to have a field day with them now along the same note as the layout and these more images coming out, the mad lads over on the Virtual Carbon Discord server have been trying to track down the wallpaper that's been used in the backrooms. 
It's very recognizable, it's very strange, very eccentric looking, and they've been trying to find the supplier and other examples of it being used. This wallpaper was visible in very old images of the backroom store. Back when it was a Rohner's furniture store, we could see this patterned wallpaper way back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. So Liam and his crew from the Virtual Carbon Discord server have been tirelessly looking for another example of this wallpaper being used because it'd be pretty weird if it was only used in the back rooms right like surely other places have used it and recently they found a listing of a very old house that seems to have the exact wallpaper inside its kitchen now the design is almost exactly one-to-one -one. it's got the same pattern the same coloration except in this image it kind of looks like it's upside down this could either mean that the back rooms or the house that it's in uh put the wallpaper on wrong or it could just be a weird backrooms effect. Who, who knows? But in all seriousness, the wallpaper being inside of an actual house is insane to me. That That is insane. And hopefully more images will be released and surface of this wallpaper being used. And maybe eventually we'll be able to find where it comes from and be able to buy it and use it to recreate the back rooms. But anyway, shout out to the Virtual Carbon server and Liam and all the other searchers that have been looking for this. This is absurd. This is crazy. I, I cannot believe that they went through all that trouble to find it and they found an example of it now. So the second they find the actual link to it, or if you can even buy it anymore, I'm going to buy like 100 feet of it or something because that, that's going to be awesome. But yeah, those are the three topics of this video the GoFundMe for the backrooms building repairs, the new images from the original camera and the layout and all that stuff of the entire backrooms building, and then the wallpaper being found. All of these stories are going to continue to develop over the next few months, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure they will. And I'll be here to cover any news, any updates that come out in that time. So thank you all for watching, and once again, feel free to donate to the Save the Backrooms campaign to help Bob get a new roof and to repair the leaks in the Backrooms building. If you want to, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Just uh, thank you for watching the video. And make sure you stay tuned to the channel for more liminal content, because that's what I upload constantly on here. I'm slightly addicted. Just slightly. Thank you to the fans for watching and, and being interested in all this. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Peace and love, and I'll see you in the next video.